Welcome to my channel. Thank you very much for visiting. Thank you for clicking on this channel. And uh, I, I cannot tell you how excited I am that you know you have come to this channel. Thank you so much for coming. Um, this is a little disclaimer. Uh, whatsoever um, opinion you hear on this channel, whatsoever views that I heard, whatsoever video clips that I show, whatever it is that I talk about, I take responsibility for them. These are my own opinion. I am not being sponsored by anyone. I've not been, you know, asked to say this to anyone, but these are purely my own opinion. Right. Now that we get that out of the way, today I want to talk about, you know, the effect of comparing one to another. The effect of comparing one to another. And the reason why I'm doing this, it's uh, due to the fact uh, of a situation that is trending right now. I'm talking about the the story of the frost star, which is all over the world right now. Hush Puppy and the rest of his gang. Uh, and why I decide to talk about comparing the effect of comparing one to another is uh, because recently, just a couple of days ago, I was uh, watching this YouTuber. And by the way, this YouTuber, I accidentally, you know, came to our channel because at the time I I discovered that I was uh, trying to you know see what I could do in Nigeria what I could do in Apekuta I haven't been away for over two decades so I was looking what can I do how can I you know how to be I, I, I think I typed in how to build a two-bedroom house or three-bedroom house in Apekuta or something like that and the first um, the first that came up was a channel and I looked at it I listened to a story the production the, the, the introduction was very 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 nice you know she cut across like a very well intelligent and articulated Nigerian you know so I got stuck with her and just a couple of days ago she was talking about you know um, how not to compare uh, one to another I think I may have no I think it was let me check I think it was uh, what did she even say yes I got it now she was saying stop comparing yourself to another that was what she was talking about stop comparing yourself to another and I, I think it was uh, it was about almost almost 22 minutes long um, footage you know it was very impactful very 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 nice i looked at it and you know i want to build on that topic you know today so i, I pray that you know as i speak on this issue i pray that life will be touched i pray that you know situation will change i pray that god will open our heart and mind and lead us in the right direction so that we will make ourselves available for the things of God. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. So now that I've uh, done that, I want to look at the, the effect of comparing one to another. If you look at the story of this man called Ashba, you know, what he has done, I've never met him before, by the way. I don't know him. I've never glorified him. I've never been attracted, you know, to whatever it is that he does. But what I've just been, is I've just been so curious about him, about what he does. Where does he have, what does he do? You know, I like to read about people. I like to read profile, biography of people, to see how people, you know, do things, you know. Like what my like what the lady said in our channel, you know, she said no knowledge is lost, and I share that because I believe every knowledge is valuable, you know. So over the years, when I looked at this man, I could not pinpoint at anything that he does. I don't know what he does. The source of income, you know, and these are the kind of men 
that they are celebrated all over the country. Talking about Nigeria. They are celebrated. There was even a time there was this man, um, I forgot what was his name, one silly man like that. Um, uh, Daddy Freeze. You know, he went in, I will show a clip of that. He, he, came, he went, had a big interview with him, you know. See, I have my opinion about that man, Daddy Freeze. I've never met him, but you know, I, you know, I, I, I put all of them in the same box. You understand? I put all of them in the same box. You know, so I looked at it. How did he come into so much wealth? You know, but lo and behold, the word of God is is, is yea and amen. You know. The lady in his in her video, she was talking to us. She was saying something like, "You know, pride goes before a fall, and then pride and a fall, they are cousins." And that is the you can see the experience right there. You know, you can see the experience right there. You know, it's very very important. Eh? We take care of ourselves. It's very very important. We do not compare ourselves to 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 to, to another. If you look on the internet, there are a lot of, you know, there's a lot of YouTube channel that talk that looks about people's lives. Look at oh, this person. Some days ago, I was watching one um, Regina, somebody of uh, Regina did. She married one billionaire. She bought a Rolex. She bought the and somebody will sit down and be watching that. And at the end of the day, they want to do anything to be like that person. They want to do anything to be like that person. Such is what Rosh Papi has found himself in. That's what he has found himself in. There was one video I was talking about the, is the poorest of his this and his that. You know, he has never been exposed to that kind, this the kind of luxury that he's living. It's not he's never been exposed to it. But he has been looking at other people who live that kind of life and desired strongly like Achan in the Bible. You can go and find out yourself, you know, like Achan in the Bible to desire things, you know, to, and he's ready to do anything to get that. And look at it today. So if I want to analyze this person, you know, let's look at his upbringing. What is the impact of his parental upbringing? Well, how has the parent brought him up? In one of my videos, I was talking to father on Father's Day. And I was saying that it's very important, okay? We leave a good name. It is very, very important. And it's very, very vital that you protect your name. For such a person as Hush Poppy, which, by the way, is not even his name. Okay? And for such a person like that, what kind of parental and fatherly upbringing did he get? Who were the people that he was looking up to? Obviously, with this kind of experience now, we now know the kind of person that he was looking up to. We know the kind of person that he was, we know the kind of people that influences him. But right now, it's very, very, very important and very, very vital that we as men, we take care of our name. By the way, let me even expand a little bit further. A name, by the way, is not just a sound that people respond to. When your name is mentioned, it's, it represents things. Now, a name can represent timidity. A name can represent influence. A name can represent industry. A name can represent truth. A name can represent, you know, influence can represent a lot of things. When your name is mentioned, how do people perceive your name? How do people see the name? For example, when you hear a name, Hitler, automatically you don't need a first name. 
you know what that name represents. In the same way, when you hear the name like uh, like uh, <clears throat> maybe you hear the name Mandela, for example, you know, as soon as you hear that name, you know what it represents. Now, the most the most peculiar thing about that is that you have to be careful how you treat your name. Like I said, a name can mean many things. A name, when you hear it, it can stand for sincerity. It can stand for laziness. It can stand for hard work. When your name is mentioned, hmm, it represents something. It means something to a lot of people. That's why we have to be careful how we deal with our name. I don't know what his father taught him about hard work. But you can see with this hush puppy story, quite a large number of people fall for things like that. By the way, let me remind us, there are so many hush puppies in the nation Nigeria. Forever and ever, I will always be proud of Nigeria. But the funniest thing is that very few hush puppies give Nigeria a bad name. There are so many fantastic Nigerians all over the world doing fantastic things. But the few hush puppies in Nigeria, they go to any length to give it a bad name. A lot of them are in government. A lot of them are in politics. Look at somebody like, uh, what's that former governor of Lagos State, Bola Tinumbu. I don't know where he gets his money from. It just came out of nowhere. I believe he is a bigger hush puppy than this small hush puppy. Somebody who can commandeer a bullion van to bring money into his house in Nigeria, and nothing is done to him. Nobody asks any question. That's the father of hush puppy. Again, some days ago, I was watching on the news, on ITV News in Nigeria, there was this minister, Mr. Festus Kiamu. You know, things that were meant to alleviate people. Things that are very basic to employ hundreds and thousands of people as street cleaners. And, and you know, things like menial job like that. And some people who are in the house want to hijack the thing. That's an hush puppy giving Nigeria a bad name. So, the way you live your life as men, you have to be careful. Now, this man now, everybody knows him as a first. There is no way he will leave that US and say, oh, we made a mistake. We left him and let him go. No. I will be surprised if he doesn't spend the next 20 or 30 years in prison. So, what kind of a name has he cultivated for himself? If his father walks down the street, oh, that's uh, um, Baba Ramoni. Now, Baba Ramoni be that, he became there for prison. If his children, if he has any, as soon as the children mention their name, they will know who their father is. All because you want to compare yourself. And you want to be rich by force. And this is so common in the society. So common. And everything starts from bad leadership. Bad leadership. It's, my people, it's extremely dangerous to compare yourself with somebody else. To look very strongly and want to desire to be like that person. A lot of people look at, look, just take a look at the Nigerian scene. You go to YouTube, go to the channel, the, the YouTube channel, you know, not all of them, not all of them, I must say. 
a lot of them are this person bought this person he bought the 2020 edition of this car he bought this he spent this those are the kind of thing and people sit down young people sit down and they don't want to walk when you ask them they'll tell you this one too now walk giving nigerian bani if after he serves that is 20 years whatever time he's, he's out of there when he comes out they should, the nigerian public eh, anybody that has a nigerian passport should sue him because these are the people that give nigeria a bad name as soon as they see your passport the other day i was uh, uh, one of my friends who does uber here yeah, picked up somebody and they were chatting in fact he called me today was telling me the same thing they were chatting with this passenger and the passenger asked him oh where are you from say i'm nigerian oh you know your hush puppy are you you know hush puppy you know they people pick things like that and that's what they remember all because of one idiot called hush puppy who wants to live above his means you know because over the years i don't know what he does a lot of people follow him there was even an interview i saw this uh, daddy frozen or daddy daddy block or whatever he calls himself a complete buffoon and by the way if you like make you because you are fond of replying to people's video if you like reply to my video i don't give a damn don't give a damn these are people that pump him up you have no head. He has nothing in his head. Whether they flew him to Dubai, or he walked to Dubai, or he flew himself. He went to this hush puppy's house, glorifying a thief. Glorifying a thief. This same thing, this same action of one hush puppy that I don't know, that I've never met, directly or indirectly, is affecting me too. Because I carry a Nigerian passport. And somebody like that idiotic person called Osh uh, what's his name? Daddy Frozen or whatever he calls himself. They glorify him. Say, oh boy, see house, everything are Gucci, everything. They like name. Everything are Gucci, everything are, see how, see this. And they won't come out now and talk. It's very, very, very dangerous to compare ourselves for everybody god has given you your own ability learn to live within the comfort of what god has provided for you and to every man out there raising another man instill in the lives of your sons the value of appreciating what they have and building on their own success not to look at other people and desire strongly to get to have what they have there's nothing wrong in for you to desire to be like this person to reach yes there's nothing wrong in that you know what is wrong in that is when you now devise a means eh, that will be detrimental to a whole lot of people that will be detrimental to your country, to your race, and you don't care, you are not thinking. All you want to do is live for the moment. Then that is wrong. That is wrong. We have to be careful and raise our children very well. My sister said in a movie, in a, in a short video that she produced, she said, stop comparing yourself to others. If we can stop comparing ourselves to others, the likes of us puppy, we will not see them. In Nigeria, if the government, people who are meant to take care of the public, people who are meant to provide infrastructure, do things the correct way, are not busy trying to steal and embezzle money meant for, eh? 
providing amenities, providing infrastructure to people, if they are not greedy of taking the whole of that money to buy a house in London, buy a house in Dubai, buy a house this, drive this, drive that. If I, I even... Jesus Christ. I went to Nigeria, the place they call Banana Island. I don't understand it. The road, you think, when you hear such things, you think the road is fantastic, getting in there is this, is that. I don't get it. I don't see what is so fantastic about the place. Yes, there are millions of, you build millions and millions of dollars of house in, in that place. You know, but your surrounding is, is, man, I don't know. I don't know. The sad thing is that there's so many hush puppies, even in Nigeria today. People glorify them. They celebrate them. They don't care. They don't think. The very few Nigerians who have left comfort of places, who have opportunity of doing things, you know, and in fact, who are doing marvelously in another country, yet we are still coming back. We are still coming back into Nigeria, trying to put things right. But the very few hush puppies, they don't like that. They want to show off. Drive the latest, the latest Rolls Royce. Something phantom this, phantom that. There's nothing wrong with that. But do it the right way. Do it the right way. I'm sorry if I'm, uh, if I'm uh, a bit, I don't know what to say. If I'm a bit, uh, you know. I'm a bit carried away by this situation. That's how important and that's how much I feel about the likes of these hush puppies who give Nigeria a bad name. Nigeria is a blessed country. And can I say something to all of you who are hush puppies in Nigeria of today, who do things, you know, to bring the nation down, who want to live above your means? You see, your days are numbered. Your days are numbered. There is no way evil will overcome good. It's not possible. You will do it, you will do it. But one day, eh, your time will come. And all those wealth that you have gathered, all those luxurious cars that you have gathered, that you've taken pictures, send it on Instagram, they will be meant for the children of the righteous. People who who do not steal, who do not go to any length to acquire those things, the, the, those things will be given to them. And at the end of the day, you would have spoiled your name, not only by yourself, but also like Akan. You have destroyed your children. You have destroyed their future. Ramoni, a.k.a. Oshpoti, only a thief. Anyway, in conclusion, I will say that comparing ourselves to one another, the effect of that is two ways. One, the one of the effects, I'm looking at the negative part of the effect. It will lead you into trouble. The positive part of that is that it will make you work hard. And live a righteous life and i pray that god will direct our minds god will change our mind that our spirit you know will be tuned to hear the voice of god to see that you know whatever it is i'm doing now the effect is like this if i go this way the effect will be like this if i do it this way and then we'll be able to choose the right one thank you very very much for listening until i come your way again it's your boy, myself. I believe heavily in Nigeria. I believe that Nigeria is the future. Africa is the future. I leave you now until I come your way again. Thank you very much for listening.